everybody, what's up? What's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you three DIY gift ideas. I think this is great for Christmas, which is coming up, or of course, you can use these ideas for a birthday or something along those lines. But I am going to be showing you how I designed and made three different things. Starting off with this wooden letter, um, which I obviously bought the wooden letter and I just kind of decorated myself. I'm going to be showing you how I designed the coffee mug and then this um, picture inside the picture frame. Starting off with the wooden letter, you're obviously going to need a wooden letter. You're going to need some washi tape, preferably a set, some embellishments, any kind that you would like, and then a hot glue gun. This is the washi tape that I chose. It's from Marshalls. It was $3.99 and I highly recommend getting it in a set just because it comes in its own color scheme and you get different sizes of tape which comes in handy and just looks a lot better. So check out Target, Michaels, Marshalls, you'll find some there. So for this first step, I'm covering the edges of the C as you can see here. Um, I really didn't have to do this. I don't know where my brain was when I was doing this. For some reason I thought, oh, the edges have to be covered, but I just had to pretty much just cover the whole C and then I could have I just wrapped the tape around to the back of the letter and it would have been fine. Do you guys know what I mean? But I made it harder on myself and here I'm just covering those edges and then as you can see here the edges are totally covered. So now I'm going to move on to the actual letter, the whole letter. And I'm just um, applying the tape, the washi tape, and then I'm bending the edges down where the um, letter curves. And it's really easy. Um, with washi tape you cannot mess up. It's just, it's so easy. And you can play around with the patterns. You can pick, you know, which tape you want to use here and there. And then I'm just cutting the edges off and like I said before I'm just kind of folding down the tape and it rips a little bit but it doesn't actually rip um, where it's visible you know it just rips where it's folding So I'm going to continue on covering the letter with washi tape. I mean, that's basically what I'm doing. And I do also want to mention if I sound funny or if my voice cracks, I am sick. But I really wanted to get this video up and the letter is done. It's fully covered. So now I'm going to move on to the edges of the, of the letter. And I'm pretty much going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take actually two of the really thin pieces of washi tape and I'm going to do um, half and half. So one is going to be the gray and white tape and then I'm going to apply a mint color as well. So now the letter is fully covered on the inside, outside. The only thing I didn't cover is the back. I just didn't think that was necessary. So now it's time to get your embellishments. You can use gems, jewels, beads, whatever you would like. I chose fake flowers. I'm obsessed with fake flowers. I don't know. I don't know, I just am. I don't know what to say. But I decided to put this leaf and stem thingy on and then I saw that flower and I thought it would be perfect. And then I decided, why not add a couple more little flowers, which obviously is what I did. And I know earlier I said I was going to use some hot glue, but I found my goop, which is actually a lot better, so I used that instead. So whatever you have really, you can use. So I'm just going the flowers on and then they're set to go. And the letter is complete. It was a lot of fun to do and it's just so cute and I think it's a really, really nice gift idea. So now on to the coffee mug. You're going to need a coffee mug, obviously, ceramic, whether it be a travel one or not. Um, some stencils, if you don't want a freehand, pick out your favorite color or whoever you're giving this to, their favorite color marker. First thing I'm going to do is pick out the stencils that I wanted and I knew I wanted to do um, like a mug with, my, with a K on it for my name, Katie. And I thought this was really pretty. It's kind of like a cursive K by Martha Stewart. And I also wanted to use that design, as you can see, right next to it. So I taped down the the stencil because I did not want it to move I didn't want to mess up and then I just pretty much filled in the letter I chose this purple marker because they didn't have mint um, but I do recommend using a darker color not to use like a pastel color but I took the tape off and oh my god it was so pretty I really liked it I know it's so simple but that's kind of what I was going for so here I'm just adding the little design and I didn't know if I wanted it but then I just drew it on the piece of paper like a smart person and I did like it so then I transferred it onto the mug and yeah just filling everything in 
and this was just my design but you can get really really creative with this um, you can draw their favorite cartoon character a little mustache butterfly anything so once your design is on you're gonna heat your oven up to 350 and then you're just gonna pop the mug in there in the oven um, for 30 minutes and let the design set and that's what I did and it worked out perfectly fine I decided to add some Keurig K cups in there just because the design was a little bit simple add some K cups add some um, candy canes a ribbon and you're totally set to go they will love this gift so the letter is done the coffee mug is done and now on to the picture inside that picture frame for this next DIY, you're going to need a really nice piece of scrapbook paper, a picture frame, I chose 5x7, you're going to need some glue, whether it be E6000 or some hot glue, a piece of printer paper, some embellishments, and these were my leftovers from before, a pair of scissors, a pencil, and also a computer and a printer. I couldn't fit that in the screen though, so I hope you guys can forgive me. I'm starting off by placing the printer paper over the scrapbook paper, and I'm just going to outline it because I am going to be running my scrapbook paper through through the printer so I obviously needed it the same size as printer paper and then I'm just gonna cut that out and I just want to say this specific piece of scrapbook paper I got in a set and the set came with two of these pieces so I decided to use this first piece as a trial piece to kind of figure out what exactly I wanted and um, this is the um, paper printed out I mean cut out sorry and the next steps were hard to film so I'm gonna explain the first thing that I did on my computer was I went on to defont.com I downloaded the font Daddy's Girl and I went into Microsoft Word and I typed in smile with that font because the scrap of paper is all cameras so I figured a good little saying is smile. I wanted to try out the colors so um, I used my first trial piece. I started with the light color. It was too light then I went to that color and then I went all the way down to the dark blue. I really liked the kind of ombre theme I was I tr I did on accident and I decided okay let me see how it looks on white piece of paper I really liked it so I decided let's print it out on the real piece and it came out perfectly I love it so much um, and originally I was just gonna have smile in the middle just one smile that's it but I really like the way this came out then I just um, was taking the frame apart and it came with this little frame inside which came in handy because I just put it right over and then I'm going to trace over that, that way I can cut it out. So here I'm just cutting it out so it's the same size of the frame and that it fits in perfectly. And then once that's all cut out, I'm going to be putting it right in the frame. And I was really nervous when um, I put this in. I didn't really want to look, but it turned out perfectly. I really like it. So of course you could leave the frame just how it is and call it a day, but I had some embellishments left. I love fake flowers, so I decided to add a couple to the frame. I don't know, just to jazz it up a little bit. I glued them on with some E6000 glue and I just thought it just added a little extra something. I love it. So these two gifts together I think would be perfect to give somebody. I think it's so cute and it looks just really chic and nice, but of course you don't have to give someone both, you know, you could separate it, but these are all of the gifts gifts together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a, so much fun making them and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks guys so much for watching. I apologize for my voice. I know it was annoying but I'll see you next time hopefully with a brand new lovely voice. Bye!